Hello children and welcome back to another story time. Are you starting a new school this year? Are you excited? But what do you think you're going to do all day? Today we've got a new story and we're going to discover all the fun things that happen inside a school. Ready, steady, school by Marion Dubuc. This morning, Billow has got their backpack ready. They've put in a snack and put on new shoes. Billow is ready for nursery school. But Billow, you're starting nursery school next year, cries mum. But Billow has another idea in mind. Can you see all the other animals getting ready to go to school? Some are walking, some are on their bikes, and some are not even awake yet. You know, Mum, all my animal friends have been talking to me about nursery school. I want to go and find out all about it. So off Billow goes to discover nursery. Behind the garden wall, Billow comes across the mouse nursery school. Bring, bring! The bell is ringing. It's time to enter. The little mice put their backpacks in the wardrobes. They slip on their slippers and say good morning to the teacher. Can you see them all lining up in the playground? Oh, and there's so many different parts to the nursery school. Billow is a little overwhelmed. What a lot of noise. You just got to nursery and so many things are happening in the morning. In any case, the mice seem to be having a great time. I wonder what is going on in the rabbit nursery. Underneath the hill, it's the rabbit school and the lessons have already started. Here, there's nursery and primary school. Wow, that is cool. In the primary school, there's silence. The teacher is teaching them addition. Can you see all the little rabbits working hard and helping each other? They've got so many tunnels in this school. Bilo is enthusiastic. I want to learn to read, write and count. But now I'm going to see my friends the frogs. At the frog nursery, you draw, you paint, and you do lots of different activities. In the classes near the entrance, some of the frogs are finishing their works of art. And those that have already finished are having their snacks. So many cool activities. And there's plenty of water play. Bilo looks at them admiringly. You frogs are great artists. I would stay here all day, but I've got to go and find my friends the foxes. At the fox nursery school on the hill, it's time for sports. Goodness me, everyone is rushing around. There's balls and bikes and rackets. There's so much to do. Which is your favourite game? They're running and jumping and pedalling. The fox don't stop for a minute. Bilo is a bit worn out. Phew! What an exciting morning! I think it's time for lunch. I'm very hungry. At the bear nursery school, it's lunchtime and all the bears are in the lunchroom. One of the rules for this school is to eat well and to eat everything. These bears are helping out with everything. They're carrying their food and even washing up. Do you see anything yummy for lunch? Bilo's got back some energy. It's so nice having lunch with friends. After this food though, I'll need a nap. Oh. Shh, quiet. It's nap time at the sloth school. Now, oh. Actually, in reality, in this school, they sleep nearly all day. Their favourite pastime is to dream. They've got all sorts of places to have a nap in this school. Beds, cushions and even up in the trees. Bilo yawns. Excuse me, can
Can I have a nap here with you? I need to have a little rest before I go to visit the squirrels. At the nursery school of squirrels, <laughs> the little ones are definitely awake. They're learning all about the secrets of the trees and nature, jumping from one branch to the next. These squirrels are very curious. Have a look how they're studying the little insects and the different types of leaves. Bilo jumps from a branch. Wow! I love studying nature. But now it's time for to carry on my visits. There should be another school near here. It's story time at the wolf school and the little pups are taking advantage of the library to read and tell their favourite stories. There's so many different ways to read here. Some are reading on their own, some in pairs, and some in big groups with the teacher. Bilo is really happy. The wolf's library is so nice. I'm going to borrow a book and then I'll be off to get to know another school. The day is almost over and the turtles are talking about what they've done during the day and tidying up the classroom. Here, everybody has something to do. Bilo thinks, it's so lucky that these turtles are so organised. There are quite a lot of things to do at the end of the day. But now I just need to get to the last school. Ding ding! It's the end of the day at the hedgehog school. The little ones pick up their backpacks and their jackets and run to hug their mummies, daddies and grandparents. There's still lots to do at the end of the day, saying goodbye to the teacher, having another play in the playground and letting their mum, dad and grandparents know all about what they did at school. Bilo thinks, what an amazing day. I've seen so many cool things. I think I'll do like my friends the hedgehogs and head back home. Finally, you're back, Bilo. So, tell me everything. Did you like nursery school? Asks Mummy. So much. Next year when I go to school, I'm going to do so many things. I can go on the bird bus like the mice. I will do reading lessons and writing lessons just like the rabbits. I'll make some beautiful coloured paintings like the frogs. I'll eat in the dining room with my friends, like the bears. I'll discover all the secrets of nature, like the squirrels. I'll read so many fantastic stories like the wolves. I'll have an afternoon nap, just like the sloths. I'll even water the plants in my classroom, just like the turtles. It's a very important job. And at the end of the day, I'll wait for you to come and get me just like the hedgehogs. Well, I see you're very happy. And you're right. I think that nursery school is definitely a fantastic adventure. Did you like that story, children? And how many amazing things are you going to do when you start school this year? I hope you have as much fun as Bilo and all the other animals. I'll see you next time for another story time. Take care. Bye-bye.